Hey there you guys, this is Ronnie Datsu and we're back to bring you a review on the LG Beacon which most of you have been asking for so we thought might as well give them what they want and do a review on this phone. So we're first going to start off with the 2.8 inch screen that the phone has with where you can unlock it with two different ways. You can either use this button by holding it down and it'll give you the regular screen or you can use the lock key and opening it up that way. On the front facing front display you have three different pages so the front page you can customize the little shortcuts up here where you can open this little panel and you can look for more on the add button on this part you get eight different options and you can take them and drag them onto your desktop I guess where you can put widgets if you scroll to the left you get uh, some type of a notification area where you get your messages and if you scroll to your right you have your 11 contacts which would be sort of a speed dial type thing if you look around the phone on the top here we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so you can use any type of headphones you want to the left of it we have the lock key and the micro SD slot the micro SD is expandable to up to 16 gigabytes we also have the camera button so you can take pictures using this dedicated camera camera key and to the left of the phone we have a micro SD slot USB I mean micro USB sorry about that and uh, the volume marker if you open up the phone you have a slide out keyboard QWERTY keyboard with the top row buttons of numbers so you can either dial a number using these or if you close the phone up and you click the, the phone button you can dial it like this your texting options is down here in the bottom on the home screen you can click it new text message and you can either use the on-screen keyboard which is sort of, sort of works like a T9 input where if you write lack it'll be A-L-A-C-C-K and it'll try to guess whatever word you're doing if you pick the word or you can actually just take out the keyboard and type something out might take some getting used to depending on what phone you're coming from I'm coming from an iPhone so that's how I type also has a pen type app where it will try to guess what you're trying to type based on your written gestures so if I write cat B C A T but as demonstrated here it's really not that proficient because it's very slow to recognize whatever you're writing and in the first place and I can write cat out really quick like this so you see the speed differences Under your message, you also have access to your IM, which is in social networks like Facebook, MSN, AIM. But remember, you need a $50 plan to access those, ex those specific apps. You still can go on Facebook, go into the Metro Web, and go into Facebook.com, but it's not as great or as good as the actual dedicated Facebook app. If we look at the pictures, you can click the dedicated camera button and we can gives us a choice of what we want to do with the picture so I can do take picture and let's take a picture of the box real quick just so you can see how that, that looks like and we're gonna just display it real quick just so you can see get a type of feel for the quality of the pictures next up we're gonna check out the mp3 player of the phone just check what kind of settings you can change so you have a couple of different ways to organize it all songs artists albums genres so that's kind of run of the mill and now let's check the memory of the phone so you can go to memory phone memory memory usage and this is kind of how it comes in stock around 30 31 megabytes used and 60 and available so that's 90 meg mem megabytes in total something I also found on the on the phone is not really that useful but you know if you go to tools and go to drawing panel here you have like a type of doodling app so you can kind of draw different things something I drew earlier I draw PCS for you guys now here's some things about the phone it has a thousand milliamp hour battery life so on the website it says you have around six hours talk time and the camera is 1.3 megapixels uh, speaker is really pretty loud so if I can click it 
should be loud enough to hear it if it's in your pocket or something. Now if this phone looks familiar to you, that's because it's a kind of a remake of the LG Banter Touch, which this is sort of a shrunk down version of that phone, where it was also a slider key. So key a couple of key differences is that the camera on the Banter Touch was a 2 megapixel camera, while this one is 1.3, and also the Banter Touch had recording capabilities, whereas this one doesn't. Now again, this is has been a review by that Tzu clan, so just make sure that you guys rate, comment, subscribe, and make sure you watch our other videos because we have one coming up which is a review and a first look at the HCC Wildfire S so you can click here and thanks a lot see you guys later